Hello, today is March 14th. It is Thursday and I'm doing my daily reading. Today's daily reading is um, the book of Joshua, chapters 19 through 21. Chapter 19, Joshua is letting the tribe of Simeon, Zebulon, Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and Dan know what their inheritance will be. And uh, yesterday, in chapter 18, Joshua said to the children of Israel, How long are ye slack to go to possess the land which the Lord your fathers had given to you? And then he sends out three men from each tribe to uh, search out the land and describe it and basically uh, divide it up and and in plots or inheritance and then come back and, and after writing it down in a book to tell him about it and then he's going to cast lots and he's going to divide up the land on these um, last tribes um, yeah and so that's 19 is the division of the of the the lands again Simeon Zebulon Ishakar Asher Naphtali and Dan and then verse or chapter 20 is just a short chapter it's only got nine verses and it says the cities of the Levites as the heading so um, it's for the man the manslayer so those those uh, cities I think are going to be assigned and um, I'm not going to try and it, it, it starts in verse 7 of chapter 20 given the names of those cities and then 21, oh, my hair is tickling my face. Even though I got pulled back in a ponytail, I got little loose strands blowing around. Um, yeah, I think in verse 21, now it's, yeah, the... Uh, the further division of the remainder of the lands are going to the tribes of Levi, the Kohathites, uh, the Gersh Gershonites, and the tribe of uh, the portion of the Levites uh, of the family of Marara. So that that ends um, chapter twenty one. So let me get that started. I've, again, I've got the dramatized um, video up here so I can listen to it and read as I read along. Hope to, hopefully this isn't too loud. So I've got this. And the sun's coming in through the windows, so you can't see the screen well. But that doesn't matter. I'm just going to listen to it. And then I'm going to follow along in my Bible. Joshua chapter 19. And the second lot came forth to Simeon, even for the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. And their inheritance was within the inheritance of the children of Judah. And they had in their inheritance Beersheba and Sheba and Molada and Hazer Shul, and Bela, and Azam, and Eltolad, and Bethel, and Hormah, and Ziklag, and Beth Markaboth, and Hazar Susa, and Beth Leveoth, and Sheruhem, thirteen cities and their villages, Aen, Remon, and Ether, and Asian, four cities and their villages, and all the villages that were round about these cities, to Baal Athbeer, Ramoth of the south, this is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. Out of the portion of the children of Judah was the inheritance of the children of Simeon. For the part of the children of Judah was too much for them. Therefore the children of Simeon had their inheritance within the inheritance of them. And the third lot came up for the children of Zebulun according to their families. And the border of their inheritance was unto Sarid. 
and their border went up toward the sea and Marilah, and reached to Dabasheth, and reached to the river that is before Jotneam, and turned from Sarad eastward toward the sun rising under the border of Kislev Tabor, and then goeth out to Dabarath, and goeth up to Japhiah. And from thence passeth on along on the east to Gidahifer, to Itakazim, and goeth out to Remon Methaor, to Nia. And the border compasseth it on the north side to Hanathon, and the outgoings thereof are in the valley of Jephthah, and Kadath, and Nahalal, and Shimron, and Idala, and Bethlehem, twelve cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Zebulun, according to their families, these cities with their villages. And the fourth lot came out to Issachar for the children of Issachar, according to their families. And their border was toward Jezreel, and Kasalath, and Shunem, and Hephraim, and Shinon, and Anaharoth, and Rabbath, and Kishon, and Abez, and Remoth, and Enganim, and Enhada, and Bethpazes. And the coast reacheth to Tabor, and Shehazimah, and Beth Shemesh. And the outgoings of their border were at Jordan, sixteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Issachar, according to their families, the cities and their villages. And the fifth lot came out for the tribe of the children of Asher, according to their families. And their border was Helkath, and Halai, and Betan, and Aksath, and Alamelech, and Amad, and Mishael, and reacheth to Carmel westward, and to Shihor Libnath and turneth toward the sun rising to Beth Dagon, and reacheth to Zebulun, and to the valley of Jephthah, toward the north side of Beth Emek, and Naal, and goeth out to Cabal on the left hand, and Hebron, and Rehob, and Hammon, and Cana, even unto great Zidon. And then the coast turneth to Ramah, and to the strong city Tyre, and the coast turneth to Hosah, and the outgoings thereof are at the sea from the coast to Aksib. Alma also, and Aphek, and Rehob, twenty and two cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Asher, according to their families, these cities with their villages. The sixth block came out to the children of Naphtali, even for the children of Naphtali, according to their families. And their coast was from Heleth, from Elam, to Zaanaim, and Adamai, Nekeb, and Jabneel, unto Lachem, and the outgoings thereof were at Jordan. And then the coast turneth westward to asnoth Tabor, and goeth out from thence to Hukuk, and reacheth to Zebulun on the south side, and reacheth to Asher on the west side, and to Judah upon Jordan toward the sun rising. And the fenced cities are Zidim, Zer, and Hamath, Rakath, and Kinnereth, and Adama, and Ramah, and Hazor, and Kedish, and Edrei, and Enhazor, and Iron, and Migdalel, Horam, and Bethanath, and Beth Shemesh, nineteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Naphtali, according to their families, the cities, and their villages. And the seventh lot came out for the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families. And the coast of their inheritance was Zorah, and Eshtaol, and Irshemesh, and Shealabim, and Ajalon, and Jethla, and Elon, and Thimnatha, and Ekrum, and Altika, and Gibbethon, and Baaleth, and Jehud, and Benibirak, and Gathrimmon, and Mijarkon, and Rakan, with the border before Japho. And the coast of the children of Dan went out too little for them. Therefore the children of Dan went up to fight against Leshem, and took it, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and possessed it, and dwelt therein, and called Leshem Dan, after the name of Dan their father. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families, these cities with their villages. When they had made an end of dividing the land for inheritance by their coasts, the children of Israel gave an inheritance to Joshua the son of Nun among them. According to the word of the Lord, they gave him the city which he asked, even Timnath-Sirah in Mount Ephraim. And he built the city and dwelt therein.
These are the inheritances which Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel divided for an inheritance by Lot in Shiloh before the Lord at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. So they made an end of dividing the country. Joshua chapter 20. The Lord also spake unto Joshua, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, Appoint out for you cities of refuge, whereof I spake unto you by the hand of Moses, that the slayer that killeth any person unawares and unwittingly may flee thither, and they shall be your refuge from the avenger of blood. And when he that doth flee unto one of those cities shall stand at the entering of the gate of the city, and shall declare his cause in the ears of the elders of that city, they shall take him into the city unto them, and give him a place that he may dwell among them. And if the avenger of blood pursue after him, then they shall not deliver the slayer up into his hand, because he smote his neighbor unwittingly, and hated him not before time. And he shall dwell in that city, until he stand before the congregation for judgment, and until the death of the high priest that shall be in those days. Then shall the slayer return, and come unto his own city, and unto his own house, unto the city from whence he fled. And they appointed Kedish and Galilee and Mount Naphtali, and Shechem and Mount Ephraim, and Kirjath Arba, which is Hebron, in the mountain of Judah. And on the other side Jordan by Jericho eastward, they assigned Bezer in the wilderness upon the plain out of the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth and Gilead out of the tribe of Gad, and Golan and Bashan out of the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities appointed for all the children of Israel, and for the stranger that sojourneth among them, that whosoever killeth any person at unawares might flee thither, and not die by the hand of the avenger of blood, until he stood before the congregation. Joshua chapter 21. Then came near the heads of... Okay. I was trying to find some of these places. Um... The only mountain is Mount Tabor and Mount Nebo that I see on this particular map. And then uh, Kadesh is up here in Naphtali. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So that's one of the towns of the Slayer. And Shechem and Mount Ephraim, which would probably be uh, Mount Ephraim. It doesn't show, here's Ephraim, doesn't show Shechem. Um, and Kir Kirjath Arabah, Arab is in uh, Haran, or no, is in Hebron, which is, um, I don't see Hebron, there's Hebron. So, it's a city within Hebron, in the mountain of Judah. So, there's that. And on the other side of Jordan, by Jericho. Um, and I don't see Jericho. There's Jericho. It's a Benjamin. So on the other side of Jordan by Jericho, eastward, they assigned Bezer. And I don't see Bezer. So let's do this. Let's see the man's, let's see what is it called, the Avenger of Blood. Um, uh, what do they call it? The Cities of Refuge. There's that. Images. Okay, here we go. So, there is Kadesh, Shechem, um, Shechem, 
the one in Hebron here, which is Kirjath Arba. Then there's Bezer. There's Bezer there. Um, and Ramoth. Then they added later on, I think, other ones. Because uh, there's Golan, and that one's not one of the ones they list. One, two, three, four, five. So, that must have been added later as they, um, they grew. And then, um, so, now we're going to do the cities of the Levites. I'm going to put my remote back on my Bible because I got the fans going and it's blowing like crazy. Cities. Let's do the cities of the Levites. Images. Which one? This one looks like it might be the easiest to read. So the towns for the Levites, and it says Joshua 21. So we'll, we can look at that map while we listen to it, maybe. Push play. Come on, play. Fathers of the Levites unto Eleazar the priest, and unto Joshua the son of Nun, and unto the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel. And they spake unto them at Shiloh, in the land of Canaan, saying, the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses to give us cities to dwell in, with the suburbs thereof for our cattle. And the children of Israel gave unto the Levites out of their inheritance, at the commandment of the Lord, these cities and their suburbs. And the lot came out for the families of the Kohathites, and the children of Aaron the priest, which were of the Levites, had by lot out of the tribe of Judah, and out of the tribe of Simeon, and out of the tribe of Benjamin, thirteen cities. And the rest of the children of Kohath had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Ephraim, and out of the tribe of Dan, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, ten cities. And the children of Gershon had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Issachar. Okay, so it says, um, the Kohathites had by lot out of the tribe of Judah, out of the tribe of Simeon, and out of the tribe of Benjamin, 13 cities. So the Kohathites. So it says the Kohathites was this darker brown color. Okay, which is down here. And it said they had 13 cities. And it doesn't show. It just does dots. And the dots only add up to nine so I don't know but it says they were they were down here out of Judah what did it say Simeon and Benjamin and the rest of the children of Koath had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Ephraim um, out of the tribe of Dan out of the half tribe of uh, Manasseh ten cities so, other Kohathites is this other color. So, it's this one, and it's this one. So, that should add, add up to... Oh, my hair is tickling my face so much. It just drives me nuts. So, the, it said 13 cities, and then 10 cities, which is 23... Um, so 23. So we've got 9 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So these are the uh, cities, or the area of the cities. It's not showing the specific cities of the Kohathites. 
and let me go back to here and this might actually show the cities so we know um except it's not very it's uh, is it going to clear up yeah it's blurry but here is the cities and it's got the names but it, it's hard to read because it's um yeah unfortunately it's hard to read do we got a better one nope kind of so Judah it says like Beth Shemesh Jerusalem Hebron Deber Ashen I think that's Libna Gib Gibbethon give you an example of some of the names of some of the but I can't read them Bethlehem is one Gezer I can't read them that the print's too blurry. Oh, I'm going to shave my head. The whole time I'm talking, I'm pushing the the little strands of hair out away from my face cuz it it tickles me so. Oh, here we go. The Levitical cities and the cities of refuge. Um, I think the flags are refuge cities and the, uh, all the other ones are, uh, the cities of the Levites. So right here would be the, um, the Kohathites. So like I said, Gezer, Beth Shemesh, Libna, it's got a question mark for that one. Debur, Jetire. So all these are the cities that we just, um, that were divided up and thought to be given to the Kohathites. And I don't know if they, they named those or not. So I think I stopped around verse 5. We'll see. Of the tribe of Asher, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan, 13 cities. The children of Mirari, by their families, had out of the tribe of Reuben, and out of the tribe of Gad, and out of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. And the children of Israel gave by lot unto the Levites these cities with their suburbs, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses. And they gave out of the tribe of the children of Judah, and out of the tribe of the children of Simeon, these cities which are here mentioned by name which the children of Aaron, being of the families of the Kohathites, who were of the children of Levi, had. For theirs was the first lot. And they gave them the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron in the hill country of Judah, with the suburbs thereof round about it. But the fields of the city and the villages thereof gave they to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, for his possession. Thus they gave to the children of Aaron the priest, Hebron with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Libna with her suburbs, and Jatter with her suburbs, and Eshtemoa with her suburbs, and Holon with her suburbs, and Deber with her suburbs, and Aen with her suburbs, and Jada with her suburbs, and Beth Shemesh with her suburbs, nine cities out of those two tribes. And out of the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with her suburbs, Geba with her suburbs, Anathoth with her suburbs, and Almon with her suburbs, four cities. All the cities of the children of Aaron the priests were thirteen cities with their suburbs. And the families of the children of Kohath, the Levites which remained of the children of Kohath, even they had the cities of their lot out of the tribe of Ephraim. For they gave them Shechem with her suburbs in Mount Ephraim to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Gezer with her suburbs, and Kibzaim with her suburbs, and Beth Horon with her suburbs, here. four cities. And out of the tribe of Dan, Eltika with her suburbs, Gibbethon with her suburbs, Ajalon with her suburbs, Gathrimon with her suburbs, four cities. 
and out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Tanak with her suburbs, and Gathrimmon with her suburbs, two cities. All the cities were ten, with their suburbs for the families of the children of Kohath that remained. And unto the children of Gershon of the families of the Levites, out of the other half tribe of Manasseh, they gave Golan and Bashan with her suburbs to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Beeshtera with her suburbs, two cities. And out of the tribe of Issachar, Kishon with her suburbs, Dabra with her suburbs, Jarmuth with her suburbs, and Ganim with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Asher, Mishal with her suburbs, Abdon with her suburbs, Helkath with her suburbs, and Rehob with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kedesh and Galilee with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Hamath Dor with her suburbs, and Carton with her suburbs, three cities. All the cities of the Gershonites, according to their families, were thirteen cities with their suburbs. And under the families of the children of Merari, the rest of the Levites out of the tribe of Zebulun, Jotnium with her suburbs, and Karta with her suburbs, Dimna with her suburbs, Nahalal with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer with her suburbs, Jehazah with her suburbs, Kedemoth with her suburbs, and Mephaath with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Mahanaim with her suburbs, Heshbon with her suburbs, Jazer with her suburbs, four cities in all. So all the cities for the children of Merari by their families, which were remaining of the families of the Levites, were by their lot twelve cities. All the cities of the Levites within the possession of the children place. of Israel were forty and eight cities with their suburbs. There we are. These cities were every one with their suburbs round about them. Thus were all these cities. And the Lord gave unto Israel all the land which he sware to give unto their fathers, and they possessed it and dwelt therein. And the Lord gave them rest round about, according to all that he sware unto their fathers. And there stood not a man of all their enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. There failed not aught of any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel. All came to pass. So it says, The Lord gave them rest round about, according to all that he sware unto their fathers, and especially, and there stood not a man of all their enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies unto their hand. But yet we read in several places yesterday where um, they drove out not all the people, like uh, the Jebusites. I remember that. Now, I guess verse four, uh, fifth, chapter 15. See, they didn't dry, they could not dry them all out, it says. And yet it said the Lord fought for them. And um, then it says, uh, and they drave not out the Canaanites that dwell in Gezer. And Gezer is one of the, um, the, the, the cities of the Levites. And they, they had them serve under tribute there. Um, and the, the Jebusites were in um, Jerusalem, which is a, another city of the Levites. Right? I'm looking for it. Pretty sure I saw Jerusalem on the list. I don't see it. I don't see it. Maybe not. So... They just stop pushing them out. And in another place it says in uh, 1713, it, and it came, it came to, yet it came to pass when the children of Israel were waxing strong that they did not, that they put the Canaanites to, trib, to tribute, but um, did not utterly drive them out. That's, oh boy, my fan is blowing my pages around right here. 
that's 1713. Again, did not utterly drive them out. So we know what happens. You know, God says if you don't drive out the, the heathens out of the land, you're going you're gonna to turn and begin worshiping their gods. And it's going to, he specifically said it's going to be a snare to you. And, and, it, and that's what happens. So, but, you know, it's not, it wasn't a failure on, on God's part. Because, again, chapter 21 says, um, the Lord delivered all, whoops, I'm not, the Lord delivered up here all their enemies into their hand. So, if they would have fought against these people, it says they couldn't do it. Well, they shouldn't have given up. They should have kept, continued to, to, to uh, try and dr deliver the, the cities completely out of the hands of those that were there. Like I said, the Jebusites. And Jerusalem. And... Um, the Canaanites in Gezer, and then um, I don't know where these people are. The Canaanites that dwell in the land it just doesn't say specifically. So we might see more verses like that when we get to tomorrow's reading, because tomorrow I'm going to finish up the book of Joshua. See, today's the 14th. Tomorrow's the 15th. Tomorrow I'll finish up the book of Joshua. 22 through 24 and it goes back to um, more of a, a a dialogue or a um, a narrative I should say not a dialogue a narrative of the history when Joshua was, was still alive so we'll finish that up tomorrow and then 22 23 and 24 is a little bit more interesting than this list of all these cities and I try and look on a map but you know I've never been to Israel and it just doesn't mean anything to me you know the people there in Israel that that knows the land and um, I don't think any of the 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 modern cities you know, I don't know if they still have any of the biblical names or if every single um, city, you know, the names have changed. Like I know on the East Coast, there's Tel Aviv, which is the capital of Jerusalem. It's not on this map. Jerusalem kept its name. Um, I don't know. Let's do this. the cities of modern Israel. Today. Is this going to be a good map? Yeah, here we go. So, there's Tel Aviv. Um, Bethlehem, Jerusalem are the same. Jericho's the same. Nazareth is the same. Golan is on the uh, old map. See, Golan is... So, I've heard of Golan Heights. But all these other Hebrews um, and Beersheba. So, some of these names are the same. But for the most part, you know, I think Ashdod's the same. Let me see. Well, it's not going to be on this because um, this is just 
certain cities of the the Levites. So, yeah, it's it's hard to read these chapters because I I don't know the places what they're talking about. But I think it was important to for for all this to be written down for the sake of Israel as a nation so there wouldn't be any arguments and uh, there was um, a law that said they couldn't remove any landmarks you know that it was that it was a sin to do so so this is the way it was divided up and then we we was te- lo- uh, learning in Sunday school how would I would that the the cities during the millennial is different or the uh tribes not the cities the tribes during the millennial it looks more like this pointing it at the ceiling so it's completely different And this is where the, the, the Levites will be, the holy portion. Let's see if I can get that up. This. See the area of the Levites, the temple, city land. The city is going to be right here, city land. Area of the prince, area of the prince. And it's going to be a huge, huge area. Um where the temple is I forget they, they, they said the, the temple the size of it was just going to be tremendously large I don't remember how big he said uh, excuse me I'm yawning hmm. alright so and this is why this little stuff here see all this little it's tickling my face see how I can feel it the uh, I hate my hair on my face. It gets on there. Like it, it makes me itch. Mm. So I'm done with my reading today. Thank you for joining me. And uh, I don't know if anybody does a study on these particular chapters and what they they would have to say. Would be interesting if somebody went into the land of Israel and just like I don't know maybe flew over the area and did it like an aerial shot video and they said you know here is the the land of each one of the um city you know during during the bible time you know, Simeon's got this little tiny portion, and um, Dan has a little portion, and Issachar has a, a little portion, and so does Zebulon. Those must have been tiny little tribes. And look at Manasseh, huge, huge portion on both sides of the, the River Jordan. And Judah has a large portion. So, it was <laughs> it wasn't divided by tribe by you know square square miles now they said the tribes that have fewer will get few, fewer land and the, the larger tribes with more children and more people will get the larger portion because there's more people so you can see the small tribes Zebulun, Issachar, Dan were the smallest so what what is that you know, uh, Manasseh, I don't remember the other tribe that that said they wanted their inheritance on the other side of Jordan because they had so many cattle, but it was the half tribe of Manasseh, and then I guess it was Gad and Reuben because they had so many cattle, so I would think that's 
you know, flatter maybe, a lot more um, fields for grazing cattle, grasslands. No, I have no idea what type of uh, topography their inheritance had. If it was mountain and mount, mountainous, forested. And you, if you read it, you can hear there's one tribe that said, you know, we, we need more space, you know, to uh, spread out. And Joshua said, we'll go and, and dip, you know, where this forest is, where these woods are, and clear out some land. You know, you've got this wood. And they said, well, you know, there's these people and that people there, and it'll be hard. And he said, you know, you, but you've got a lot of people. You know, you're a very numerous tribe, so, you know, just go go do it. So he didn't let them whine at him. And there was that, I don't remember where it was in the, which chapter it was. But I remember reading that. I think it was yesterday. And I'm kind of scanning the pages. That was today. It wasn't yesterday. It must have been the day before. Yeah. It's in chapter 17. The children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot and one portion to inherit, seeing, seeing I am a great people? For as much as the Lord hath blessed me hitherto. Here, here, Verse 15. And Joshua answered them, If thou be a great people, then get thee up to the wood country and cut down for thyself there in the land of the, and it says the Perizzites and the giants, if Mount Ephraim be too narrow for thee. And the children of Joseph said, The hill is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are in uh, Beth Sheen and her towns, and they who are of the valley of Jezreel. And Joshua spake unto the house of Joseph, saying, Ephraim and Manasseh, even to Ephraim and Manasseh. So remember, Joseph's sons were Ephraim and Manasseh. So when it talks about, it says, Thou art a great people and hast great power. Thou shalt not have one lot only, but the mountain shall be thine, for it is a wood, and thou shalt cut it down. And the outgoings of it shall be thine, for thou shalt drive out the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots, and though they be strong. And remember, we saw the the uh, map, and yeah, you know, the the children of Joseph. So Ephraim, Manassas, look how much Manasseh has, maybe the most land of all the tribes. So, you know, and, and they still said it was too small. So they said, you know, and I don't know where they're saying this wood was. See, um, I lost my page. I said it was in 17. My Beth Sheen and Jezreel. So, wherever that is. Okay, there's Beth Sheen and Jezreel. So, right there. And Jezreel's in the, the lot of Issachar. Hmm. But anyhow, I said that it was a wooded area. So, you know, go, da go cut down the, the, the trees and, and spread out. For it is a wood, 
and thou shalt cut it down, and the outgoings of it shall be thine. There you go. So the, the land is some, you know, mountain, valley, wood. It's still, I don't know. So it's frustrating. Frustrating. All right, well, I'm going to go finish my reading for today. I'm looking for a pen. And tomorrow we'll end the book of Joshua and we'll be I'll be doing judges next. Okay. So thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.